Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, it was an incredible market today, man, especially the NASDAQ. This is going to be a quick video. I just want to talk about NVIDIA. Yeah, NVIDIA today. But first, real quick, here's the averages, right? NASDAQ on fire. And then check a look at the uh, the heat map. And, and really, everything was working except for the banks, energy, and the industrials. And that kind of showed in the Dow industrials. But, you know, let's talk about NVIDIA and my NVIDIA trade. Oh, uh, I'm all, uh, I, I, man, I put on a trade. Remember, I'm at work, right? So trading at work on my phone, I usually lose money. So I'm like, man, I'm so confident in this one. I wanted to grab the, I sell a put spread right off the bat. Had no idea this thing was just going to explode 5% for the most part. And then I decided to turn it into an iron condor and still stayed way out of the money. So on this chart, you can see the action right here. I got the the daily chart up and maybe I should go to the 15 minutes maybe you can see my action a little bit no 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 let's go to the hour is that a little better yeah you can kind of see it a little better I'm trying to get both my lines in there there it is all right so here's the dimensions of my iron condor that I eventually wind up putting on so the market opened up it opened up right here, right? And you can see, for the most part, if you look there, I got pretty good location on. And I still think, I'm just like, there's no way that this uh, NVIDIA is just gonna blast through the 700s because if it gets up to the 800s, that's basically what it would have done. But the volume, look at the volume is incredible. I've been watching it all week. I've been watching the action in the call spreads and I was just noticing how when you come clear out of the money here, like say this 880 call, right? Well, these option prices are a little messed up this after hours. Look how much they want for it, right? So it's hard to tell here because these, these prices are not right. Let's say here, this 830, they almost want, say three $3.30. I just think that's incredible. And when you would spread it, if you would uh, say buy this call spread, look at the 68 cents. For something that's 15 days and 8.30. So I'm like, and it's been pricing like this all week for the most part. I basically was selling those though, right? So I'm selling that deep out of the money call spreads I showed you in the video, I think, before this or the one prior to that. And those those iron condors came off for profit. That was perfect. And what boggled me is when it was going down, when it went from like 8.25 to 8.10, those options did not lose value. Yeah, so those options that I sold up here, they did not lose value. And that was making me scratch my head. I'm like, wow, we went from 825 to like 807, was it? eight Something like that, 810? And a few days later, and they did not lose a penny. So I'm like, what are they expecting to happen here? Anyway, sure enough, there it is. It just exploded. I was able to get out because my puts had a lot of juice. <laughs> so I was able to got out. I got out exactly as planned, halfway, so it was perfect. Decided to put on another one, right? So it opened up here, and um, you can see uh, there's my my position. I am think I'm good, and then it just started exploding, right? Uh, actually, I, I, I think I did it on somewhere it was like 720, and I'm right there. Anyway, it started exploding. I'm like, oh, man. I I don't like my call side. I don't I don't like my call side. And I was way out of the money on a put. Not out of yeah. I was way out of the money on a put side. So basically, the the these so you can see it. I sold the six fifties, the six fifty fives, and sold the eight fifteens. But this thing started with like eight seven fifty. I'm like no no. This is not good. It's not good. So I wind up closing that out and then selling the seven hundred. So now my my position is here, right? So I'm at the seven hundreds. I sold the 700s, bought the 655s back for protection so I can remove this line, remove that drawing, and remove that drawing. So now that's my new spread. I was able to, the, the original spread I collected $1.06. Okay, now this spread where I adjusted it, moved it up, I collected an additional 67 cents. So it was like $1.72, something like that. All right, so now I'm going to try to buy it back for half price of 172. But I just hope this thing doesn't keep exploding to the upside. If you're long the video, that's what you want. <laughs> but I've been playing the Iron Condors. And if you remember in that video, I was way, way, way out of the money on the call side. 
You know, I thought I was too far and I just suspected it. I just suspected that that would happen and I was right. So that came off for a profit, just as expected. Decided to throw another one on and then it just started ripping. I should have just bought calls. You know, I, I, I wasn't looking, wasn't able to look at the charts when I'm not on the phone. So that's what I kind of miss. And I always have days like this when I'm at work. And I need to be right here on the computer so I can see these things. Because if you come here, if you look at the five minute chart, we could have, we could have, we could have got this, right? Let's go to the one minute. No, no, let's go to the five minute. Let's go to the five minute. I'll show you what this is. It, it basically started yesterday. And here we see these lows, right? Low, get another low, another low, and then a lower low. And then right here, right? When we get this higher low, Right there, that was your cue to say, hmm, to start paying attention. Because now you got a new low. That's like a new level of demand. So when you start coming up here, <laughs> right? So here you got the the, the, the higher low. This was just about a, high, a higher high and sure enough, it checked back, right? Now you got the open. You're like, okay, what are you gonna do? You're sitting right here at the higher, just below that old high. And then it blows through. And then once it gets past this high right here, you just knew to go all in for the most part. Right there, all in, you know, and there you go. There's your rally. Look at the volume coming in. And yeah, so if I was home, I think I could have caught this on the computer or I would have just sold the puts and then kind of chilled out and waited on the call side. But here's the trade. Those are my two lines. Wish me luck. <laughs> I need this thing to kind of just slow down and I will be all right. So yeah, let's talk about that NVIDIA. Let's look at the weekly and just, you know, it's just incredible. Look at that monthly, right? Just straight up. Suppose we get one of these legs, right? Suppose, can we get a 300% leg? Well, that was a year and a half. So we'll take another year and a half to get that 300% leg, but you never know. If you pull out to this week, we got the weekly, and I'm gonna clear all this out. Now, remember my, my sets, but here we go. From there to here, this is what I wanna point out. This is 45 days and that's a 40% incline. From here to here, this is 30 days and we at 40%. So you can see the pullback it took. It took a pullback here, took a pullback here, and I'm expecting another pullback. I don't know if it's gonna be that significant because from there to there was 16%. From here to here, that was 23%. So um, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. A pullback will be nice. That'll be make my trade most likely become profitable. But I think the way I got it set now, the deltas are basically neutral. So it wouldn't matter too much. I just needed to slow down. Don't rip up. Don't be ripping to the upside like that. <laughs> All right, man. I just wanted to talk in the video real quick. I didn't do a video in a couple of days. But, so um, just wanted to check in on this. Now, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about my trade. My little iron condor. I sold the 815. Oh, yeah. 26 days out. Right. July 16th. Uh, the 815s and the 700s. So I needed to kind of be in there over the next 30 days or so all right thanks for hopefully by the way if everything works out like the last i took that off in less than a week perfect this trade you know like i said you put them on for 30 days you put them on for 45 days 40 somewhere between 30 and 40 i usually like the 30. your plan is to be out of them in less than 10 days you know i want to be out before 20 but you know 15 you know i plan on being out so even though you're putting it on that most likely you will be out before uh, 30 days comes along. So you kind of got to think like that and like, oh, I put the trade on and I wait a whole 30 days. No, it's not like that. You'll be out within a week, a week to 10 days, most likely, if everything goes as planned. All right, so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. And I appreciate, appreciate every one of you that takes the time out to watch me. Peace, this is Dre. See you later.